Hey there, YouTubers, this is Don from True Cable, coming back at you again, uh, this time to talk about our Category 6 unshielded, not direct burial, but outdoor cable. Um, this particular cable is essentially Category 6 riser, uh, but with an outdoor jacket. And what makes it so useful is that it is, because of its construction, it's less than a quarter inch thick, um, and the fact that it's easy to work with, it's the ideal residential cable, especially if you're going indoors and out with the same uh, spool of cable. This is the stuff you probably wanna pick up. Now, if you're just doing an indoors installation, then go right for it and go right for the riser stuff. But if you have to go in and outdoors, you're not going direct burial and you don't have a need for shielded, this is the right thing to use because it's essentially cat uh, riser, but with an outdoor jacket on it. It is um, easy to work with. It's easy to terminate, gives you high performance, can handle PoE well. So if you're going to be like, for example, uh, you can't run the cabling through your walls. You're dealing with concrete cinder blocks for some reason. You can go out and then around your facility or around your home and then back in through the other side. In that kind of a case, you wouldn't need shielded for the most part, uh, but you just need a good outdoor jacket and you're not going to be direct burying it. So this is the, the right stuff, and by code, um, it's allowed to be used in single and duplex residential style dwellings uh, freely without any actual issues around breaking the law. Now for commercial use, uh, this still has to follow the same commercial rules. So this is an outside plant cable for commercial uh, purposes and must terminate uh, maximum up to 50 feet uh, after entering the commercial facility. But for a, a single or, or duplex dwelling residence, this stuff is uh, the bomb, I got to tell you, because it, it uh, bends relatively easily, far easier than some of our other outdoor cables. And it fits inside of uh, uh, surveillance camera housings and Wi-Fi access point housings that are usually weather sealed and may have a, a waterproof grommet on there. So uh, a lot of times getting that really thick cable in there can be a problem. Uh, not for this stuff. So it's easier to work with. So I do highly recommend this stuff uh, for certain situations, especially residential ones. And well, I say we go ahead and get into this cable and I'm gonna show you exactly uh, how it's designed inside and then show you an application where it's actually being used right now. Be right back. Okay, so here we've got our category six outdoor unshielded non-direct burial uh, cable. And I'm going to go ahead and strip off some of the cable jacket here to show you what it looks like on the inside. Uh, it's actually pretty simple construction. We'll use our True Cable all-in-one uh, termination and crimp tool uh, that is, uh, has an excellent built-in stripper on it for six to eight millimeter cable jacket outer diameters. And just put a couple inches through there, close the tool completely, turn it around exactly one time, close her up and then just bend it to score a couple of times and the cable will, jacket will separate just like it should. There we go. And it's, pretty, it's a pretty tough uh, outdoor grade uh, jacket. And so under there you'll find a, a rip cord and polyester tape, uh, which is basically called PE tape or polyester tape. You'll find your four twisted pairs and then of course a spline present in the center. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's essentially, just like I said before, category six riser, but instead of actually riser, it's got an outdoor jacket on it. So it's a really no muss, no fuss type of uh, cable to terminate. And I'll, I'll prove that to you here. Uh, when it comes to RJ45 plugs, uh, what you'll use is our large cut to fit strain relief boot. And uh, we'll slide that down. That's a good fit. Pretty, pretty, uh, Nice firm fit there. And then we have our category six uh, slash six A uh, pass-through plug, unshielded. And it goes uh, right into that plug with very little effort. Uh, as you can see, I almost got it all the way up there towards the golden contact. So it's a, it's a really good fit uh, for that cable and the insulated conductors are an excellent fit for this plug too. And then just simply take your, your locking boot here and push it up so it's even, then terminate it, and you're done. Uh, the other two um, ways to terminate this cable are going to be our keystones, uh, unshielded, category six uh, toolless, uh, which work very, very well uh, for this cable. 
And uh, if you uh, want to go a little more old school, uh, or you need something that's a little lower profile, then the Category 6 uh, Punchdown style Keystone Jack uh, will work great for you. They both perform identically. Uh, the same printed circuit board that's in this one is in this one. It's just the platform is different. So um, that pretty well covers uh, the internals of the cable, but I, I promised I would show you uh, some uh, actual installed examples. So um, stay tuned, we'll show you uh, where it got installed at and a, a good use case scenario for it. Okay, so here's an excellent example of our Category 6 unshielded outdoor cable uh, being used in a situation where it had to go into the structure right here and then run on the outside of the structure and run literally to the other side and then down and then down to another ingress point into the building. So effectively, what occurred is there's a keystone jack on one end of the cable, and then there's a keystone jack on the other end of the cable. So it's an ideal situation for the unshielded uh, non-direct burial outdoor because it doesn't need to be shielded in this case. And at the same time, uh, it does not need to be direct burial. So it's pretty easy to work with and it definitely got the job done. In this particular case, the cables are being used to uh, connect up a credit card machine with a switch. So anyway, I hope you found this uh, video useful. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you did not like it, give it a, a thumbs down. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, with that said, I'll say happy networking.